What's up guys, I have officially partnered with Fluid Flux to make all the necessary tutorials you need. In this video, I will show you how to set up a basic simulation, so let's get started. In order to add a Fluid Simulation to our level, we have to add a simulation domain. The Fluid Simulation domain blueprint is the heart of the Fluid Flux system. So we can find it under the Fluid Flux folder, Simulation, Blueprints, and here it is, BP Flux Simulation Domain. So what we can do is drag this to the level, and as you can see, this will add a big area where the simulation will happen. Anything over this boundaries will just not be rendered. Okay, so what will Flux Simulation Domain do? Well, it will run very important tasks as I mentioned, like render the ground high map to texture, update simulation of shallow water, fluid, foam, and wetness, bake and export simulation states, and send data to the fluid surface render. So a lot of important stuff. Okay, so now we need to add a fluid source that will spawn fluids inside of this simulation domain area. And here's where the modifier component comes in. The modifier component will add fluids into the simulation. So we can find it under simulation, modifiers, and here it is, BP flux modifier source actor. Let's go ahead and drag this inside of the flux simulation domain as you can see, this will add some fluid into our simulation area. Imagine this as the water bucket from Minecraft. So now what we can do is select the simulation domain, and you can see that we have some custom events and parameters over here. Very important, make sure that you have real time on. So now, for example, we could start the simulation, and the fluid will start doing all of its work. We could reset the simulation, also we could stop the simulation. So another thing that we could do is change the simulation frame rate. So instead of 120, we could lower this to maybe 30, and then you can see that it will play at a lower rate and so on. So you can play around with the settings to achieve exactly what you want. The modifier component can add and remove fluid in the simulation domain, change the velocity and flow of direction of the fluid, simulate custom interactions with the fluid, and generate waves. So that's it with this first tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. You can get the Fluid Flux asset from the marketplace, and for more information or questions, you can join their official Discord server. All right, with all I said, bye bye.